HBO. <laughs> you know that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Ain't Got A Clue. Yes, I'm Marcus Bronzy, I'm man. I'm uh, Thank you for um, listening and, and subscribing. If yeah. you haven't subscribed to the YouTube page, do so already, please. Yep. Yeah, please do so. Also, don't forget, we've got a Patreon too, man. So if you love the show and you want more of us, simple. We drop a whole extra episode after dropping our regular episode on the timeline. You can access that for the price of a coffee. A coffee that I'm sipping right now. Oh. Mm. What, what's your coffee <laughs> order? You, you, you just get an Americano, don't you? Well, uh, you know what, okay. What's fantastic is I think you really know when to ask the loaded questions, bruv. And today's coffee is sponsored by a few days of of partying, <laughs> bro. Oh, so I, I said to big man, I said, yo, can I have an extra shot in there? He's like, yeah, but the way we make the coffee, it has three shots in there. I was like, I'm aware of this. Put an extra shot at the top of that for me. So I'm drinking four shots of espresso. We Jeez. might see caffeinated bronzy. We've had, we've, had, we've had caffeinated K. We might get caffeinated bronzy today. Who knows? Who I, knows? I saw a bit of sun today, yeah, and I got gassed, even though it's like six degrees outside. Bro. Well, I, I like I like the sun, obviously. Bro, I'm, I'm so starting to get like, that. Yeah, so, go, go, I was go, like, go. so I was like, can I have a nice latte? <laughs> yes! Yes, what I'm talking I, about. Oh, latte, obviously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, I was like, boom, yeah. uh, the sun's out. Yeah. Even though I've got a big jacket on. Yeah. But at least, yeah. But when the sun's out, I'm a happier person. Um, anyway, thank you guys for listening. I appreciate you. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, we've made it this far without using a racial slur. Which oh, is... wow. That's great for us, man. Because <laughs> back in my day, <laughs> sorry, which God. is more than can be said for Fucking certain hell. platforms. Yo. Um, Yo, uh, man. By the way, guys, uh, not to sound holier than thou, because we're not Kate, holier than thou. Just before we get back into that, I just want to say, bro, your voice is sounding lighter today, you know, bro. What do you mean? It's sounding nicer today, you know? It's like, it's like oh, the, the mics have been upgraded or oh. something. <laughs> Basically, thanks to Sean. Yeah, I don't yeah. know if you're watching this on YouTube. You notice mm. that we've got different co our mics have been circumcised. They are. Innit? They've got like they've taken off the foreskin and added this nice little yeah the sheath in it. They're, they're more aerodynamic now. They, they've used those uh, extra thin condoms on them now rather hey, than the thick ones. All the feeling, but all the safety. You know what? I think that's our podcast, you know. 100% safe, but we get right in the feelings, you know. Yeah, so, all right, then, if you want to get right in the feelings, <laughs> then, right, yeah, go why on. aren't you racist, Marcus? Why don't you use oh, racial slurs? Bro, on it's mad simple, yeah? I don't use racial slurs, <laughs> yeah? Outside of the racial slurs that are allocated to me throughout my life, <laughs> for which I'm taking the power back from. Which ones, which ones are those? I Mark? don't know. I wonder, yeah. Bro, Do you know what? Bro. I, I, I just want to say yeah. one thing, right? Yeah, man. Um, people, people, all right, no, actually there's a few things. All right, yeah. so let me, let me get into my yeah. deep dive. I think people constantly make stupid people yeah famous and then get surprised when said stupid people don't have the mental capacity to talk about certain issues or navigate their way around certain issues or even just do the bare minimum right <laughs> you make stupid people famous and yeah. then you're like well why aren't you this that the other they're stupid mm -hmm. what was the content that they created some of the people that you are making famous right and and this was part of part one of the things that really annoyed me about the whole andrew hunt andrew tate witch hunt I'm not a fan of Andrew Tate, yeah. couldn't care less. Yeah. But the fact that they were like, this guy is a danger to young boys. And I was like, well, no, if you're going to say he's a danger to young boys, look at the content that's being consumed by kids mm. uh, across uh, uh, all of these platforms. Right? You mm. see a lot of these Twitch streamers and YouTubers and these YouTube little clicks and stuff, right? That people are like, oh, lad culture's gone from the UK. or Lad, lad culture hasn't gone. If Clearly you look not. at a lot... If you look at a lot of the streamers or you look at a lot of these like YouTubers, like, like, like for example, that video you saw with the Sidemen and stuff like that, mm. yeah? All of that sort of culture still exists. It's just that it's on a corner of the internet that isn't relegated, uh, sorry, relegated, uh, regulated in the same way as TV was mm. or magazines were. Mm. And you lot keep making stupid people famous and then go, why doesn't said stupid person have the have the the the, the social literacy or the, the intelligence to try and navigate around subjects? Mm. They get they make some stupid dickhead famous, yeah, all the time. I see it all the time, no matter what field it is, yeah. Mm. And they're like, why do you not have progressive views on gender? Or why do you not have progressive views on fucking vi They play video games in front of a TV, bruv! <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. like I just I find it incredibly mad. They're like, oh, so and so used a racial slur, or so and so was homophobic. It's like, yes, 
Like that, they're, they're, they're fucking idiots. Have you not seen mm. what made them famous? Some of these people are doing content where they're just flipping. They're doing hide and seek, bruv. That's content. <laughs> yeah, that's content. <laughs> they're doing hide and seek as content, right? So, and then they're like, deeply disappointed in I'm, my man. I am, I'm I am. deeply disappointed in what I've seen. What? Like, what? What I, made you think? Listen, this yeah, is why, yeah, again, yeah, yeah. And, and and just before you you, you get into I've what you need to do. I've got a small little slice. Yeah, because I feel like you, you a lot yeah. of emotion. We've before, delivered on the emotional part yeah, right here, yeah. Just before you get into what you need to get into as well, yeah. It's like, um, when, um, when, when people are like, uh, uh, they get caught out. These people yeah. that get caught out, and they're yeah. like, "Oh, I'm trying to live and learn and whatever." Right? Mm. At what point do we say, like, you can't learn? Isn't it funny in jest? Like last, well, not even funny, but last episode we recorded, we were talking about how young people. Literally, we said, "Young people, they've grown up with internet now, isn't it? Yeah. They know everything you do goes out there." And we were saying like older people, I'm not saying there's more of an excuse, but they've operated in a world where they've said some fucked up shit and it's been washed away in it. Yeah. By the sounds, by the, the sands of time. Yeah? yeah. But this thing called the internet means that no, you're there in 4K forever. So it's interesting how, what surprised me more about this situation, I think everyone knows we're talking about like the KSI thing, yeah, is that I was surprised that young people that I thought were London adjacent were busting these jokes and everyone was laughing. I was, I was shocked, disgusted, surprised. I was like, Ain't you man grown up in the ends? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we, well, but have we not seen this? Uh, but, or, or are they? And this is a question. I'm not saying this how I feel. Have they missed out on how some how bad someone that was, and they're not yeah. seeing it? So they, for them, it's just a word. Yeah, but, without but, any yeah, of the pain. I mean, I don't even. My thing. And I'm is, not making excuses. My thing is yeah. again, though. Yeah, like, um, I know I've made mistakes in my life. We all have. I've uh, you've made mistakes. 100%. I've made mistakes. I've still probably got some views that people need to educate me on. And like, I'm going to make that, mistakes. That, that's why yeah. I always like sit down and 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 yeah. sort of listen to people about certain things. And I'm never like I know none of my views are ever that steadfast unless it's about yeah. ice baths. Um, yeah. That and I the lack of goss <laughs> yeah. in our I always visual change spectrum. my mind about yeah. it. But um, I I just find it funny when people put these people up on such a high pedestal and then they're surprised when this sort of stuff happens. Especially when like someone has a track record of certain content, mm -hmm. right? And people are surprised about it. That's what gets me the most, right? Like I, I and, and another thing, I think people give a lot more credence to these people than like they deserve sometimes. Yeah. Do you see, like there's yeah. a lot of people that probably don't watch KSI's stuff all the time. And then they use this yeah. as a moment to be like, gotcha mm. kind of thing. And it's, here's, here's the, the biggest thing though, right? I think because of the nature of YouTube. The nature of the internet, yeah, so yeah, beca Well, yeah, because of the nature yeah, of yeah, YouTube yeah. and the nature of, like you said, the internet, yeah. people with fan bases like that, yeah. they're fine. He won't need to apologize, even if he, he apologized, but he nothing will happen. Do you think what? Because he's because the only I think where you'd hit most people is in the monies, and YouTube. I'm going to take him off the platform. Yeah. People aren't going to stop buying Prime. Yeah. This goes back to what I was people saying. Are still going to watch the boxing. This is what I was. I was saying. It goes back to what I was saying many many episodes ago, mm. where I said people do not care about issues strongly enough to sort of inconvenience themselves slightly. Do you know what though? Do you know what? Do you know what's interesting about the internet side of things though is that the very nature of the internet means the more that people are upset about this using the internet, the more it drives eyes to the content and makes it more successful anyway. So yes. really, the only real successful way of really making this hurt him, I suppose, in yeah, terms yeah. of exposure, is just by not mentioning it. But yeah. you can't not talk about it yeah do you know what well, I, mean? I mean it's I mean, a weird one isn't it it's like, a weird like one the thing is the thing is yeah within that sort of realm yeah. they probably thought it was funny in it amongst their mates mm. right and this is the issue right like amongst your mates that might be you might have a lot of racial banter right you might have racial banter with your mates yeah and that's fine and well within those parameters where you're with your mates once you put a camera in the mix yeah mm. It's different, bro. Mm. It's a different dynamic, right? Mm. But my, my, my thing is with the internet and stuff like this, right, is people start these witch hunts on Twitter. People start these witch hunts on on these platforms and go, 
blah, 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 blah. So-and-so needs to be cancelled. So-and-so needs to stop this, that, the other, the other. None of you will stop watching this content. Nobody will stop buying Prime. Nobody's going to stop watching the boxing. And the, 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 the people that will, it's, it's very few and far between. Like I said, nobody cares. Everybody will send out, a t people love to send out a tweet uh, condemning something because it's easy. Because it's the easy way to look like you're the good person, right? Mm -hmm. But when it actually comes to, to, to having actionable things that you can put into play to make you go, to, to make something change, mm. they're not doing it. Yeah. Like, like for example, yeah, you use, I don't know, what, what, what do you, you, do you watch Now TV? Yeah, oh, I've got Sky in it. Uh, you got Sky, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. So, I don't know, Head of Sky says a mad thing. you got to lock off Sky. But you want to watch Succession. You want to watch the Premier League. <laughs> Are you locking it off? I have to, bruv, if I want to, if I, morally, if I want to do it. Morally, however, you have to. However, is it, however, someone will be like, but that's the person and this is the service. So people find so but many would justifications. We, would we want to hold, would we, what we'd want to see is we'd want the company, heads will roll is what they, is what people say. Yeah. And you'd want to see that yeah. person removed and then you want to see that company prove yeah. that they've Yeah, okay, but in terms of, of like, in terms of but like. Am I going to turn off Sky immediately? I've probably found out on Sky. <laughs> that's the maddest thing. I doubt it, you found out on the internet. Yeah. <laughs> You don't think they'll run that news. Don't think they'll run no, out studies. I, I, those witch hunts don't happen like that. But I, can I, we just go? I just want to go back to like a bit more of a basic level, right? Don't say certain words. And I'm so mad. We said this in the last recording at the end of the pod. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. said to you, there's some people that are just, and I'm not laying this on these, like, addicted to getting close to saying certain words. Bruv, yeah, just I'm, leave yeah, it, yeah. man. Just move on. You don't, you don't know. If, if society is telling you that word ain't cool, just but, but, err but, on the side of caution and just don't, innit? Edit it out of your shit. Don't say your shit so you need to edit it out of it. Don't go there, man. Because I had people messaging me, yeah, um, from all over the UK, uh, South Asian people, and they were saying, bro, and Asian people as well, they're saying, like, it, uh, as a whole, and we're saying, bro, made me feel away, you know, watching that, bro. And that's mad to hear that from your friends, innit? Like, and I'm, I'm like, shit. Mm. That's fucked up, bruv. No, I can I can understand it will make people feel away because I, yeah, I could. Yeah. I, I feel like you, that would. I could. I, yeah. I can understand like sitting down on seeing somebody sitting down on a podcast and using a p word, um, is and bussing up. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, 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 I can see I can see how that would be offensive to certain people, and yeah. um, but, but 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 my biggest thing with with all of this is right, like where. I don't understand the the um, this sort of feeling where people love to sort of get as close to offense as possible to entertain. Yeah, it's people love to get love to try and get close to the line, mm -hmm. and they're like, just to be like, oh my god, like we're yeah. we're blurring. We're blurring. Yeah. Like you know what I mean, like we're 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 so brave. We're yeah. we're on the line. It's edgy, and. I've I've never understood that to be honest with you. Sometimes it feels like you're just saying it without saying it. Well, I mean, that's how it sometimes feels to me, and I feel like there's and you're. But the thing is, you're in comedy where there's nuances and there's people that do that, and there. And I can't lie, some fucking comedians are very funny at taking it right yeah. to the edge. But but there's a skill involved yeah, in that. The yeah, thing is, yeah. the thing is, Dame Baptiste made a great point on Twitter. Yeah, the 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 issue now with YouTubers is they run the internet, right? Yeah, YouTubers. Yeah going uh, are doing boxing mm -hmm. youtubers are putting on their own football matches mm -hmm. youtubers are doing their own comedy tours and the way dane put it was that youtubers are doing everything that certain people spent their whole lives trying to uh, perfect yeah so now it's getting to that point where you as a creator you're like or like as a comedian or whatever mm -hmm. you're like, well what's the point like i'm never gonna sell as much tickets as he is and i've seen certain youtubers do stand-up tours now and yeah. they're selling more tickets than really well-established stand-ups that have been honing their craft and no one cares because it's 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 just the way the world's gone now and i think there's nothing regulating youtubers in that way yet it, so youtube never took that down because there's a bleep in it oh they bleeped it now well no it was it was uh, always uh, oh bleeped. sorry oh sorry oh sorry yeah, I thought, I thought my mind went in the direction but yeah yeah so there's yeah, a bleep so like, on it wouldn't care it was bleeped yeah, yeah, yeah. right but everybody knew what it was talking yeah, about they knew what the context now, was, yeah, yeah so but but the thing is there's no editorial guidelines on YouTube. They have, it's funny, they have got guidelines, but there's no, 
one there's no gatekeepers there's no one to go through the content and like you would in a conventional tv yeah, environment and impossible. say no because they have guidelines that you can read yes. but then you just upload and you either get through or you don't yeah, yeah. It's, it's it's and the algorithm has to work out yeah it's it's, it's impossible for them to yeah. look at every single video and go so you are in the wild wild west yeah man you're in the wild wild west and and these these people have so much power now like they could pretty much say what they like that's why like i'm saying like the andrew tate thing they used him as like a and, and like i don't agree with these views but i'm saying like the the they used him as this like boogeyman figure mm. they're like oh yeah they're gonna teach him in schools about why his rhetoric is wrong and stuff and you're like there are people saying the exact same thing as he is mm. like it's always like you see the content that like they they have like yeah would you bang a girl mm. if she had a body count or mm. blah 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 and you're like what is this cr it's crap mm. it's all just yeah but nonsense. would you bang a girl if she had a it's all like nonsense yeah. right like yeah. i get what we do is nonsense the majority of the time yeah but we're not we're we're not, we're not cancelled yet you know, yeah we're not <laughs> we are going to but say something you know yeah. what it's funny though um it's funny we'll say stuff where we can have fun with it and a joke with it and it's relatable and i know people will be like hmm you guys could be a bit more edgy with it I'm like, nah bruv i'm cool i'm happy to call people a dickhead yeah, yeah in yeah, my lane yeah, in yeah, it when yeah, i'm ready yeah, yeah. i don't ha i don't i don't ever have a desire I never want to be the, the shock jock that's what because i'm a radio background i yeah, never yeah. wanted to be a shock jock so i'm up for saying a cheeky thing or busting a joke or alluding to something or a double entendre that's a bit silly i'm silly by nature bruv i'm, a sh I'm I, I like to be silly and have a little laugh haha <laughs> whatever i've never wanted to be the guy that's like yo marcus is so edgy man just brings it to the line every time it's just nice. hilarious he just moonwalks up to the line tap dances over it. and that's i'm not just dissing bit, people that do that annoying, but like people yeah. yeah just just the the thing is right if you make idiots famous yeah be prepared for them to mess up yeah. for them to say some stupid shit yeah. in the in the in the in the main it is mad though be prepared for stupid people to say stupid shit if you make stupid people famous that's what you're gonna get why are you surprised who's who's who did we have that was really intelligent in the uk that made famous hawkins stephen hawkins they made him famous but he was never busting on the same level as other people i'm trying to think like in highly intelligent people stephen fry highly intelligent yeah highly yeah. intelligent but but the point like what's it about stevens out here <laughs> <laughs> what's it about steven <laughs> steve <laughs> coogan <laughs> what? so if you want your kid to be smart you just gotta name them steven anyway, i think yeah, yeah, yeah. i think i think this is this, yeah. is this is another issue right like when I was saying bring gatekeepers back, mm. I was saying it for a reason. <laughs> Do you see where I'm coming from? Like, it's gone too far now, bruv, right? Yeah. People are just picking up, like there's a beauty to people just being able to create stuff and mm. whatever. But at some point in time, you need someone that's actually from said industries or a group of people from said industries to go, yo, this is, this is shit. Mm. Like you need- <laughs> I, know, I know, but you know what, Kay? Like sometimes, bruv, just don't. I just feel like this is a. It's it's such a simple. Let's not even put this in the video. Don't say that anymore. You get me. I'd 100%. like to think but if I was sitting in an environment with them lot and that got said, I'd be like, you know what, man, them all jokes aside. Well, it's like the amount of time out. we've cut at the N word when you've said it and bare times, bruv. <laughs> Did they not even know what the name of the podcast was when we started, bro? People knew what that pilot was like, bro. Um, <laughs> Yo, that pilot was nuts, you know. Marcus, Marcus, I, you I was know firing me, bare shots. You, Marcus, every, Marcus has never said the N word. Marcus has never said the N word in my presence yet. Really? But I think if Maybe, he said it, it would times. sound really weird. Really? It would it's, sound really, really it's, weird. It's mad because it's it's just a mad one. It's a mad one. I I think. But it's not even it's not even that case. I think just, you may have only said it as like quoting something. Really? All yeah. Right. Well, anyway, or like a rap song, is it? Oh yeah, standard man. But um, like, what's interesting though is that if I felt like you had a desire just to be busting that word all the time, that would make me uncomfortable because I'd be like, what kind of person is just like, <clears throat> like why is that their fix? The only way I'd ever say that word yeah. in a public domain. And, oh, yeah. Hold on, in yeah, a public on. domain. Yeah is if I was in a Hollywood movie Ooh. and everybody understood I was acting. Yeah, yeah. You know, Leonardo DiCaprio did in um, Django. Yeah, but he looked like he enjoyed saying it. There was actually, <laughs> I, w I watched a clip yesterday actually online and apparently <laughs> no, uh, J J yeah, Jamie, Fox, Jamie Fox was saying how he was struggling and, and apparently Samuel L. Jackson was like, it's a fucking Tuesday, man.
It's a fucking Tuesday. We ain't friends. It's a Tuesday. Get in the role. You know, Samuel, Samuel Jackson is really like that. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. He's genuinely like that. Yeah. And he apparently that helped him to get through it. I literally watched that clip last well, it's, night. It's Very funny. Do you know the sad um, uh, Years ago, myself and Dane got invited to a Kevin Hart mm. uh, show at the O2, right? Yeah. And the tickets that they gave us were just behind the like real VIPs. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So like there you was... You smell the cologne. So David Hay was there yeah. and like... Samuel L. Jackson walked past us, right, yeah. as we were sat down, and he nodded at Dane. He didn't nod at me, he didn't know. He didn't nod at me, right? I'm not yeah, black. Of <laughs> no, brother, bro. <laughs> What's up, brother? But he, he nodded at Dane, and Dane was like, they nodded back, and then as he walked, he's like, did Samuel L. Jackson just nod at me? <laughs> yeah, bro. Yeah, <laughs> I like, yeah. I like, yeah. I, lo I love that about him, man. And you know what? He's actually really like how he is when he's doing interviews and stuff like i've been yeah. at a screening for for a thing and someone like the guy oh bless him is this nervous you know when you go to a screen and they always have like a presenter that like talks about the film a little bit or talks to one of the actors before you watch it with the actor yeah. so it's like so now samuel jackson TikTokers to do that now. yeah exactly yeah. yeah he's like so samuel like tell us about one of your favorite parts of the film he goes what get the fuck out of here i'm gonna talk about my favorite part of the film and spoil this shit nah man let's just watch the film and the guy's like uh uh okay uh uh, uh like <laughs> but he was like why am i gonna say that motherfucker well, well, i love that well, about people him, forget he's old yeah he is he's like, fucking old school. asking old people my, my my i i often always think if you put a mic in front of anybody mm. over the age of 60 yeah something wild is gonna happen right Agreed. like don't, don't yeah <laughs> look people are, it's all very well and good when people go yeah well my my dad was born in whatever whatever and my dad doesn't have views that it wonderful yeah. the majority of people over 60 do not is it <laughs> operate like that <laughs> <laughs> yes. the, the, the majority yeah. of people over 60 they seem like nice people yeah. but they will have they will say one thing yeah. and you, 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 you are. Oh. Didn't Kevin J said he put his dad on the mic? He's like, Greta Thunberg, <laughs> <laughs> straight away. He's fucking starting to love Like, yeah. I, oh man, I've had conversations with old people yeah. on like transport, planes, all yeah. that sort of stuff, right? Having a great conversation. Then they suddenly said one thing and it's made you go, oh my God, I can't oh, believe bro. you just said that, yeah? Bro. And, and, and it's never meant in a malicious way, but you're like, Fucking hell. Bruv, I've been on a press trip and on the way home on the train with four people at a table, one of them spoke and I was like, oh, right, you're racist. <laughs> I just said like that. I said, oh, right, I didn't know he was racist. I was like, I thought he was cool, man. And he's like, no, no, no. I was like, no, it's cool, bruv. I've had a good few days, man, but you fucked it up now. I don't care, bro. I don't care, man. We're getting older, bruv. Back in the day, I might have just been like, bro, I need to process this. But I was like, you're really racist. I, I forgot what he said, but it was so like, it was so like, go back to your own country level of chat. I, I was like, I had a, I had oh, a chat. Mad. I had a yeah. chat. I was basically, I was on a, I was on a plane. Yeah. Um, a while back. Yeah. No, it was on the way to Dubai actually. Yeah. Um, and I was chatting to this older couple. Everything's going well. Yeah, whatever. Sweet, sweet. We have a great conversation, bruv. Literally about half an hour before we land. Right. He's telling me about everywhere he's been with his wife, where they've gone, whatever. He's like, Dominican, Re Dominican Republic, amazing. Right, he's like, he, he was telling me about parts of Africa he's been to, parts of the Caribbean he's yeah. been to, amazing. Then he goes, oh, I went to Jamaica. Vicious people. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck up, get out. See what? So I mean, bro. <laughs> and I was just like, I was like, wanker. sorry? Yeah. He just said, yeah, just a very vicious people. He's like, they, they we didn't feel safe over there or whatever. He's just like, but it's just in their nature. He's like, but you go to the Dominican Republic, you know, it's still Caribbean. So, uh, Absolutely fine. He's like, yeah, but yeah, they're very, very vicious. Dickhead. It, <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I didn't yeah, like. Yeah. It was it was one of them ones yeah. where I was like, yeah, raw. I was like, huh? And then are you not realizing that he's kind of sub, whether he's doing it subconsciously or not, he's testing to see where your levels of no, racism I don't, are. I don't at. think he was even doing that. You could have you no, gone. No, you know, deep down, no, no, you would have no, gone. Like the yeah. way he was, like he was, he was actually such a nice guy, right? And it was just like he fucked up. He'd been to all these places, and he was like, but he's just like there. It's like the people, and I was just like, "That's racist, bro. fucking hell, bruv. Anyway, yeah, so racist. I was just like, I think at that point they were like, "Oh yeah, like you know the announcement comes mm -hmm. on, can you put your seatbelts on and stuff like that." So I just like sort of like, yeah, stop talking to a minute. Yeah. But I was just like, man, they're everywhere. No, no, it's not. It's not even like they're <laughs> everywhere, but it's just like you've got to, the guy was seventy three. Yeah, yeah, and I think throughout the whole plane journey, 
I'd sort of forgotten that. Mm. Right. And then it's like, oh, he said some shit that reminded me he was 73, innit? Mm. Like, mm-hmm. like, that's, do you know what? I know, I know we should move on from this in the pod, right? Because otherwise I feel like we're just like drilling down on this too much. But that's why I was surprised, so surprised as well. Because I thought the Utes, I thought I am the person. I've If using our logic, I'm more likely to say that shit. On I, I hear you. I hear you. Utes. But KSI is 30. <laughs> but I was I, I forget all it's of that. A long time, bro. That is a lot. But also, let me tell you one thing, right? Um, I think what happens is whenever it comes to things such as race, misogyny, homophobia, mm. transphobia, whatever it may be, yeah, the media some uh, suddenly takes a turn where they go, "This is bad." Mm. Right. Without providing the necessary education and context mm. as to why these things are bad for the wider population. So what you end up happening is you do get a small section of society that are educated and clued up as to why these things are wrong. Mm. But immediately they just tell people this is wrong. Mm. You're not allowed to do this. Right. And you've got a whole generation of people. You've got the majority of the population out there that are like. What? Well, 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 mm. And then they suddenly get cancelled for saying certain words and stuff right without knowing why it's wrong there's no education provided for it and i know some people will go you should like let, you should you should be let, let's take race out of it but you know for the other issues right mm-hmm. like people will be like oh you should be old enough to understand that people aren't bruv mm-hmm. like people people need to be told why is this bad like for example with the whole transgender conversation that's become really um popular right now right they just told people this is transphobic. You're not allowed to say that without actually providing context for a lot of people and going, you know, let, let, let's actually have a ch- chat about it. Right. Let's actually talk to people about it. And then you end up people going, can't say anything these days. Yeah. And I think there needs to be like a lot more conversations had on a face to face basis rather than just the media going, well, this is bad now. These people that are saying that are like backwards, this, that, the other. It's all happens overnight yeah and i'm not excusing any of those phobias like racism whatever 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 whatever. but it builds resentment when you just say this is bad or whatever and they look at us because what happens is a lot of these people from working class backgrounds that tend to have these views on mass which is a lot but i mean it all come it all stems from up above anyway they they, it builds a certain resentment where they're like we're being told what to think and what to say by a certain group of people that's but you know that's what our society is supposed to be like. We make decisions and we are told how we should behave. I am told I cannot just punch a man in the head if he's doing my head in. That's the rule. But why, Mark? Exactly why. You can't punch anyone nowadays, mate. <laughs> Back in the day, pull him outside, <laughs> knock him around a little bit and, and straighten up you know and think, good. But do you not think there should be like, th- there are certain things we all don't understand, right? Yeah, 100%. And especially once, I, especially once you hit a certain age, someone yeah. telling you, yeah, man. you're not allowed to say that again. And you're like, well, why? And it's like, if that's not being explained to you. But I agree yeah. with you. I'm like, all right, cool. I might address the why by going and reading, but I'll be like, all right, cool. Done first. And I think that there's a core value within all of those problems, all the phobias, I'd say. There's a core value of, I think that we should learn, which is let people do what they do to themselves. As long as it doesn't hurt anyone else and harm anyone else, let them do what they do. Let them be them. Let them express themselves let them be spoken to how they'd like to be spoken to again, as long as it doesn't cause anyone harm or whatever like that. Yeah. And if we all had that, and I sound so kumbaya, but if we all had that basic level of understanding, all of those issues start to fade away. But unfortunately, part of human nature is we like to compare and contrast this part of our, our, our like um, genetic coding like pretty much yeah. like we we compare and contrast whether it's looking at people that have more money than us whether it's looking at people that have more su- what we perceive as success looks whatever like that and we start making these kind of like well they're different they're different they're different but and well, you can it, have yeah. those feelings but it's about and we all have those feelings but i think it's about just being like you know like i said for me it's core values if somebody goes call me this i'm like cool i might fuck up i might fuck up and, and i have fucked up but I will, I'll call you what you want to be called. That's cool. As long as it doesn't make me feel uncomfortable. Do you get me? Don't ask me to call you the P word in public, for example. Do you know what I mean? It's not funny. I'm going to ask you to call you daddy. Yeah, well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or call them daddy. <laughs> Boy, I don't know, see, see, now I'm uncomfortable, innit? I'm not calling it. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not calling everyone daddy. You get me? <laughs> call me big, big sexy. <laughs> Nah, bro. I love it, bro. I'm gonna call you Brian if that's your name. Oi. But yeah, anyway, I, w- I watched. Um, I'm, I'm up to date with Succession. Fuck it, son. 
What? I've been taking my time. I'm in season two. I think I think I in hit, a week. I hit. I think I hit. It was a Sunday, and I was. Like, I'm not doing anything today. And I think it was raining, in it. Yeah. So I was like, brother. Yeah. Let me just watch all of this, like, and I think because I'd already watched like an episode a day kind of thing. Yeah. So I think I got onto season two, and I just blitzed it, blitzed it. I think I got to about twelve episodes in one day. So I got onto like season three oh. <laughs> by the end of that wow. day. Yeah. So, you, so you can't give me spoilers, bro. I'm taking my time with You're that. On you season know? two. I'm on like two episodes in season two max. I think one and a half. Really? Yeah. Oh, mate, you have got. I don't know how you how you are you not just watching every episode on the go. Basically, because I've been um, I had like a delayed birthday celebration, so I've 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 consumed oh, a few beverages. Yeah, no, 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 nothing big, nothing big. <laughs> but I've I've, I've I sat in front of my Marcus. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for that. Yeah, no, man, that was great. Yeah, just uh, <laughs> la, 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 la. Let's see how friends. Are. La, la, yeah, just, yeah, it's great. Nah, yeah, just, friends, you know, friends. It was me in front of the TV, bro. Yeah, mm, but yeah. I was. <laughs> Delayed birthday celebration, yeah. It wasn't, bruv. Well, yeah. guys, um, welcome to the final episode of Ain't Got A Clue. <laughs> a lot of tool, man. Is, is that what the Heineken's are there for, yeah? You've got the hi- little Heineken. Oh, it's, um, they were, they were um, dishing them out for free. Okay. We've just yeah. given them a push, you know? Yeah, sure, with your delayed birthday celebration. <laughs> I had a few beverages, right? All right. Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, I, but I put succession on and I was just, I wasn't in the right frame of mind to so, keep So hold on, it. you had a delayed birthday <laughs> celebration. In front of the TV, bruv. Yeah. With, with with others? No, by myself, bruv. Oh, okay. I was watching succession by myself. Uh, and now the story's changing. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> no, but I mean, I'd had some drinks. Yes. And I was watching succession okay. and it just wasn't, I wasn't in the right frame of mind. So I've done the opposite to you. I've regressed. That's why I'm the half an episode in because I was like, it's not going in. Oh, mate. Oh mate, I think is it is it what does is it, it get better? HBO, fucking when you put hear that, crack. Sh- H- mm. they put crack in their shows. Yeah, man, they've been they've been making good shows. The Wire, come on. Uh, do you know what? Can I just say? Yeah, I'm not never not finished the Wire. Wire. Never finished the Wire. You know, second season when it yeah. was all about like the docs and stuff. Yeah, I was. I hate it when people say this to me, but you should have pushed through. Now TV's in a different place. I don't think we can enjoy the wire now because it's too slow. Yes, it's too slow, way too slow. Too slow. I find that I found that with the Sopranos as well because I watched yeah. it after, yeah. like I watched it years later. Yeah, like literally too about slow, a couple yeah. years ago, and I'm like, yeah, get to the point. Yeah, I don't. Not all the way. I even rewatched some of the original Luther before watching the movie that came out. Even then, it, I could tell it was older TV. It's a twelve year old show, bro. You could tell it was a twelve year old show. Yeah, it's just mad. It's mad, mad yeah. Going. But I'll just get to the point, yeah, bruv, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Send mean, a text or a tweet or something, bruv. And, and <laughs> yeah. with a lot of those things yeah. with like the Sopranos and stuff yeah. like that, you're like, oh, right, a lot of this like, would have just been easier with like smartphones. One anonymous email from a dodgy Gmail account to another, you'd be sorted. It, yeah. So, Succession, I, oh, you, I, I badly it. explained it the other week because um, I was struggling I, and, I, and I said, look, I feel like it's... You said to me, has it got violence in it? And I and I believe I lied to you and said no. It's got psychological violence in it, right? Mad. So it's, it's, it's all about manoeuvring and power plays, mm. um, strategy, it, but it's a gripping drama. It, it shows you... It's essentially Game of Thrones without the dragons. Mm. That's the best way to really? describe it. Yeah, because Game of Thrones is all wow. about... Well, if you see Game of Thrones, it's yeah. about who takes the throne, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. And Succession is about who takes the throne as well, yeah, but in a different yeah. way. It's more yeah. about a corporation and an organisation. So it, it it just shows you, like, the different... It, it's Everything is about war and power in, yeah. in these in these dramas anyway. Like, there's, there's always an element of who grabs the power. Yeah. And this does it in such a such a gripping fashion where it's you just realize how ruthless and cutthroat people are mm-hmm. in when it gets that high up and when we're talking billions of dollars involved people will do whatever it takes and it doesn't matter if you're related or not people backstab each other make backhand deals go and talk with the enemy just to do what's right for them in particular and what that's why i think yeah. like if 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 you have a fam and, and this sorry, this is why I find it um why why I understand why a lot of those people end up just hiring family. Yeah. Because when you get to that level, it is hard to trust anyone that doesn't have a blood connection with you. Bro, we see best friends just 
shagging each other and then being like, yeah, man, but it's business. That's what's mad as well. At the end of the day, it's just business. And there's that element in there as well. Like, so when things go mad, I sometimes I'm like, how do these people reconcile? But at the end of the day, it's just business. Because really, the worst paid characters we've seen on that show are set for life. Have you noticed, though, that... Greg's my favourite, by the way, at the moment. I love him, bruv. Yeah. <laughs> his his glow-up has been fantastic. Man came into the show with no shoes on, kicking ass by season two. I can't wait to see what happens, bruv. Okay. And that's all I can say without yeah, spoiling sure. it. Yeah, um, sure. <laughs> I said, yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah, okay. You don't read it? Um, yeah, okay. Oh, what, is there something I don't I, know about? I find the writing in that impeccable. And I know they yeah. they, they use some of the writers from Veep. Um, Peep Show, bruv. The creator wrote Peep Show. He created Peep Show. Do you not find some of the humour in it British? I Well, yeah, there's... Yeah. Um, it's like office you know it, it, it. Re it really reminds me of The Thick of It. Yeah. Have you watched The Thick of yeah, It? Yeah, yeah. Even the way it's shot, a lot of it reminds me of The Thick of It. And The Thick of It is one of my favourite sitcoms. Yeah. That and kind of office vibes to it as well. That kind of like shaky camera, and it is based yeah. in the office. Some of those like, but yeah, but the thick of it is all like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. shaky camera, yeah. like whatever political, Love it. whatever. Yeah. And like, I, I find like a lot of like um, the one liners, like they call him calamari cockring and Sick. all of that sort of yeah. stuff. Like yeah. that. there's bits where like one of the characters, Rome, Roman, we are Roman. The things he says he comes out with just makes me laugh. And it, and it also, it, his one line is almost reminiscent of, um, uh, what's his name in the thick of it? Who's uh, Peter Capaldi's character? Um, oh, I can't remember, bro. I'm Malcolm. Is it Malcolm? You, is yeah, it? Malcolm. Yeah, yeah, Malcolm. Yeah, Malcolm. Um, and and it's just it's just fucking excellent. If you haven't watched it, go watch it, bro. All right, wicked. I do it's, I do it's, like it. You better amazing. be fucking scratching your armpit, but do, you know, do you know what you what you were saying about that like whole thing when people say it's just business or whatever? Yeah. Whenever anything fucked up happens in any industry, yeah. people say that. So like, if somebody says something, it's a mad joke. It's just comedy, man. When anybody <laughs> says like something like some someone does something mad in football, boy, that's just fo like some people get sacked all the time. Boy, that's football, innit? Yeah, man. Boy, that's business, the innit? The business of football. Boy, that's entertainment, innit? Yeah. Boy, what, what that's do you think? finance, innit? That's finance, boy. That, it's boy, banking. Boy, that's banking, banking boy. It's banking. Boy, that's that's politics, innit? Can you... Because I can't comprehend this. Can you comprehend being on operating on the level that these people are operating on? Like, these people are moving the world. Listen, let me Murdoch tell you... Murdoch level. Let me tell you one thing, right? These people have billions, yeah, mm. and they still want more. And at In that point, nature, I'm yeah. like, what do you want with this money? What What do you like? What do you? I think I, I think I think fundamentally it comes down to this, right? You see, when you have so much money, right, mm. like more money than you can ever imagine, like the kind of money where you can literally do anything you want. Mm -hmm. Like I can go on a private island. I can do this, that, the other. What happens is very quickly you realize there is a lack of purpose to your life mm -hmm. because you're like, there's as, as mad as it sounds, mm -hmm. there, <laughs> there's only so much holidays you can go on. There's only so much booze you can drink, drugs you can do, people you can sleep with. Like, there's only so much of that you can do. You can go, it, there's a diminishing return on new experiences once you keep doing them, mm. right? So if you've been to one beach, it's like another beach is, is it's all the same thing at the mm. end of the day, isn't it? Like mm. fundamentally, you're just mm. sitting in front of the water mm -hmm. on sand, right? Mm -hmm. So it gets to a point where you're like, I need, I need something that gives me a reason to wake up, mm. right? So then it becomes about power and then mm -hmm. the power aspect of it becomes addictive. And it's like, how can I get more power? How can I do this? How can, how can I get respect? And it, and it just, it turns into that rather than, it's funny because it, I see it with like, entertainers and comedians and stuff all the time where they're like you're like why are you unhappy you're selling out x amount or mm, you're you're making mm. x amount of money and they're like nah but la 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 and you're like oh they want respect to their peers or they want mm. respect from people and stuff so it's it's fascinating in that respect because like you said bruv these people have got billions yeah to throw around and i think when you look at the main character logan who's the old boy of the family yeah he's clearly built this empire in it so he's the lion, yeah? And I think when a lion hunts and catches, that's when they feel their real zest for life. And his character, when he's doing these moves in the show, you can see the delight in him, bruv. But let me tell you one thing, right? I think even in these programs, right? I think these people that have all these billions still act 
quite normal, right? <laughs> <laughs> if I had billions, yeah. I don't know what I'd be like, Mark. I might be, I might turn into a prick, you know? Turn into one. <laughs> 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 but do you see what, what comes, bruv? You potentially could be the most horrible person ever. And you're a nice guy, you. right? You're a nice when guy. When the mics not, are I'm on, gonna, I'm, I'm not, a nice I'm guy. I'm not gonna call you a prick on on camera and yeah. just disrespect our friendship. Like that. <laughs> Fuck <But>. off! <laughs> Oh, you're getting into me today, bro. But <laughs> yeah, but for example, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. If everything you everything you hear is a yes, horrible. We've seen it. We've seen it. If Messi everything people. you hear is a oh. yes, right? It will take about six weeks for you to become acclimatized for that. For that. <laughs> I'll be real. It will take you about six weeks when everybody keeps telling you yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get you get you go up to anybody, um, and they go, "Yeah, I could do that for you. Yeah, that's sorted. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can have my number." Yeah, sure. You could buy this. Yeah, that's about looks, six. That looks great on you. About six weeks of that, yeah. that becomes your normal, that's right? Mad. So the moment someone tells you no mm. or does something that slightly inconveniences you, you're mm. gonna come up to me and be like, "This prick just didn't have my cab ready when I needed it to," right? It's like you'll be like, "Okay, now do you know what annoyed me today? You be coming on this podcast. Do you know what annoyed me today? Like." I told my assistant to have the car ready yeah. for 11.22. Yeah. I got down there at 11.22. She said the car's just coming. Yeah. And do you know what I wanted in my latte in the car? I wanted coconut milk. I got oat milk. What the fuck is this, man? What was this amateur hour? You end up getting that sort of stuff. Yeah. You? But if I had if I had everybody just saying yes to me my whole life, mm. especially if I was younger. Well, oh, horrible. my horrible. gosh, bro. Horrible. Like some of these YouTubers. If I had that level of money in my 20s, like, as in people going, yeah, you can have this, that, the other, you got millions or whatever. I shudder to think what would have oh, happened. Lamborghini money at the age of 20. If I had Lamborghini money at the age of 20, oh my God, I feel sorry for the world, bruv. It's a problem, bruv. But you have You don't know. You don't know what would happen because it, there, there's, there's no level. Of, what keeps you humble? What keep, like, especially when people are like, oh yeah, if you have a good grand with your parents. All right. So say like your parents have grown up in, uh, in humble, yeah, yeah, yeah. like sort of situations, right? What's your parent gonna say to you when you go slap a million on the floor? Nah, this, and is, go, this is what I do like about mums and that though. You could still, you could still like come in like all Billy Big Balls. Your mum goes, get me a glass of water. Yeah, if you've been raised right, you go fucking get a glass of water. You don't send the help. You get the glass of water. That's the household I come from. You put, yeah. put the kettle on. Well, that was, that was, I could come in big balls. Yeah, yeah, man just landed this TV, the podcast and doing this. Yeah, yeah, bruh, 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 bruh. yeah, put the kettle on. Well, son. that was the funniest thing with 50 Cent, right? Yeah. Remember like years ago, like when Twitter first started, he tweeted something like, I've been at my mom's house for two minutes and she's made me take the trash out. Fuck Boom. This. Yes. He's like, he's like, fuck this. I don't need this. I'm rich. <laughs> yes. That's what keeps you grounded. You yeah. need that. You need yeah, that. Yeah, but like, I, I still think at that point you'd be like, like if, if, if your parents go, Marcus, you've been a bit obnoxious or whatever. There's, there's a new house. Yeah. <laughs> there's a new, there's a new holiday. Mind your business. You might not say mind your business. Yeah, in your yeah. head you're thinking it. You go, mind your business. Yeah, yeah. Here's, here's, here's a couple mil. Yeah, yeah. Chill out, relax. And then they go, oh, well, that's so kind. Now they're, they're not humble either. Right, because so, what, what's going to happen is right at that point in time. Now you've got your parents accustomed to a level of luxury <laughs> as well, right? So then, what's going to happen is, yeah, your mom's uh, going to ring you and go, Marcus. No, nah, I don't mean to be a mm -mm. pain, but like the hotel that we've booked, like it just, mm. um, the, the pool's only open so, at like yeah. ten a.m. The suite isn't really as big as they as they made it out to be. It's a bit. We wanted the presidential suite, yeah. and they've only given us like a double deluxe suite or whatever. Yeah. And you're like. Okay, 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 let me make a call. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've not got a beach view. We've only got the view facing the other way. All right, city all right, view. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, mum. All right, cool, cool. Let me. Let so, me you're, so the moral of the story is: don't treat your parents nice if you make it. No, make no, them, no, no, you know, no. Let I, them I, keep I, suffering. <laughs> <laughs> no, make I, them struggle. It is so hard for anybody to stay humble with that level of wealth. My key to staying humble, if I am, you can correct me you if I'm keep not. Broke people around. Is you. I keep. <laughs> Keep broke people around you. I keep I keep real people around me. I get, I keep people around me that just and keep what are real, real people. Bro. Broke, broke people. <laughs> you've got to keep broke people around you when you're rich, right? Because if you've got too much rich people around you, mm. you can't stay grounded. How do people stay grounded? <laughs> they are broke, or they are normal, right? That's why they are on the floor. 
If you are rich, what do they call it? You're flying high. Okay, right? all right. You're flying high. We're in the right? school of k so do, right now. So how do you stay grounded? Stay Land with the plane. Pe- stay okay. with broke people. Keep okay. broke people around right. you. Don't stay with them, all but right. keep them around you. All right. And also... So fly first class, but hit the streets. Let me tell you one thing, okay. right? Okay, okay. I think staying grounded is overrated. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you... If, if you become rich, yeah, right? Yeah. And all your friends are rich. Mm. Why is it then important for you to stay grounded? Who are you trying to prove? Who, who are you trying to make <laughs> a point to? That, no, honestly, who are you trying to make a point the to? The only reason it is when people are like, oh, it's nice that he stays grounded is so you can relate to broke people. <laughs> if you're not in the public eye and you're rich, right? There is no reason for you to stay grounded. <laughs> Just hang around other rich people. You do not need to stay <laughs> grounded whatsoever. No one's going to judge you for yeah. going. Oh my god, the uh, yeah. this this wine tastes Especially like during this. the cost of living crisis. They're like, well, I haven't got to answer to anyone. I'm not on social media. I'm rich. Exactly. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Actually, that's the, the only reason are. people want to, want you to stay grounded is so you can relate to the common man yeah, yeah, yeah. or people that are like broke. But it's nice when a rich person like comes us, around me and they've and they've got this. When people go, how do you stay so grounded? I'm broke. Like, I don't own a house. But then, how do you stay then, so grounded? I clean my toilet. Yes. I don't have a cleaner. That's how I stay grounded, bro. How do you stay yeah. so grounded? I do not have a gardener. Yeah, my yeah. garden looks like shit. shit. <laughs> my garden looks like a council estate garden <laughs> is meant to look like, bro. Right? Yeah, yeah. How do you stay so grounded? I wash my own socks. Bro, yeah, how, I wash my socks. Bro, I put them in the washing machine. Exactly. And they get how washed. do you stay so grounded, right? Mm, mm. I wash my car. <laughs> That's how I stay grounded. I do not have the money <laughs> to be out here. <laughs> Get above my station. The, listen, the moment you see me with a walking wardrobe, I am not curtains. grounded. It's curtains. <laughs> <laughs> if, I, if I have a walking wardrobe or uh, if I have two cars, yeah, I'm not grounded. Is you, it? Oh, bro, uh, I'm finished. The flexing. moment you see me with two cars, <laughs> a gardener, Whatever, and people go, how do you stay so grounded? I will be so real mm. in interviews. I'll look into the camera and go, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not grounded at all. Can I, be, can I be real with you then? That's why sometimes when I'm in situations and I know people are really well off and they do all the right things, if they're like doing like nice things to people, I'm like, well, it's easy for you to do all the right things, isn't it? Because you didn't have to wash your socks this morning, did you, bro? Well, exactly, yeah? exactly. When you people didn't have to put the rubbish out. When people say to me, <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, look at like, you know, when some people are like, oh, when are you free, whatever? And I look at my diary. There's some days where I don't have any working, right? Mm. But I'm like, mm. I have four loads of washing to do. Yep. The house needs cleaning. Yep. Right. I need to do a bit of admin and whatever. 100%. I need all that done to me, right? And yeah. people are like, why don't you just get a cleaner? Um, I don't um, know about you, Marcus, but £60 an hour is a lot. <laughs> big man. Yeah. You see, any anytime I call a contractor in of any type, yeah, you better believe I've got on YouTube, yeah, and I've dedicated time to find out if i can do it right now for cheap yeah and what's the quick fix bro not every time do we need to have a rip, a new arm if you cut your finger i just want to put a band-aid on it and Thank let's you. keep it moving but, but I'll also take the when people a lot of the time yeah yeah i'm i'm so like lazy when it comes to not lazy but you mm. know when people are like oh why don't you just get a cleaner or something nah. like that right nah. it is find first of all googling looking at reviews find by that time, I've, I've already cleaned the toilet. I've hoovered, bruv. Yeah, I'm yeah. saying the hoovering's done. <laughs> yeah. I mean, so at that yeah. point, I'm like, yeah, yeah, it could save me in the long run. Yeah. But I just I just can't be asked, bruv. Yeah. I can't. And also, like, I I didn't realise how common it was. A lot of my friends are like, yeah, I've got a cleaner. Bear people. Bear people. And I'm like, how do you trust people? Oh, you just have to, innit? Yeah. Bro, people, like, yeah, I, am, to, yeah. I am from a... Because their cleaners have the keys sometimes, you know. Bro? Yeah, when people are like, oh yeah, sometimes like my cleaner just comes in or like whatever and I'm... And I'm or when like, they complain about the cleaner, that's the funniest one. They're like, oh my... Do you know when your cleaner just... And I'm like, yeah, yeah. Your cleaner? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, man, yeah. This but is yeah, how I they, stay grounded. Yeah, yeah. I don't have a cleaner. I am the cleaner. <laughs> how do you stay grounded? I am my own cleaner. Yeah. I am my own chef. Yeah. I am my own gardener. I, I'm a normal person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How yeah. do you stay so grounded? I hate <laughs> that conversation. The... Re- the, the you know when people ask you oh, how you st- how do you stay so grounded? It basically yeah. goes, so you're still broke. Yeah, how do you stay so broke? <laughs> <laughs> That's what they're saying. Oh, yeah. Bro, how are you still broke? Don't call me yeah. grounded. Yeah. Call me, you know, 
He's a nice bloke. Mm. I don't mind that. But when, when you say, oh, how did you stay so grounded? Sort you're calling earth. me broke. Yeah, sort the earth. Yeah, you're calling me broke. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be so successful yeah. where I just go to, like, I'll go to interns. What? You've never been to Lake Como? <laughs> like, <laughs> insensitive questions like that. That's how successful I want to be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When, when I forget, like, yeah. the normal baseline for yeah, people. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. oh, man, oh, 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 what? You... Well, why don't you just pay someone to do that? That kind of yeah, like, attitude. What, did you not have time to iron your t-shirt today? <laughs> you know, that was, I'm like, that's why, yeah. I, that's why, if it's friends, there why might be a burial. Why don't you just get a dry clean? Yeah, yeah, you know yeah, yeah, yeah. Say that to you. Yeah, oh, yeah. why don't you just go and get a dry clean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen the price. Yeah, yeah. I am ironing it myself, yeah. bruv. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's, oh, that's it, no. What, it's for me, it's been like, oh, bruv, you're a little bit late. Oh, yeah, mad, bruv, I forgot. I had to iron my top before I came out. What, you just don't get that done at the start of the week? I'm like, nah, bruv. I'm ironing this. I'm pressing Bro. my clothes. So believe me, if you see me and my um and my uh, seams are looking nice and crisp, compliment me. Bro. Because I made that. What what Bro, I still leave my clothes on the office chair. Oh what, to dry and stretch out a little piece? <laughs> you know that. Classic. No, or when you've done your when you've done your laundry yeah. and you can't be asked to put it back in the right place, you're like, <laughs> this pile of clothes <laughs> will stay on my office chair. <laughs> it will stay there until I need to use one of these <laughs> items of clothing. Or when you keep them on the dryer and you're like, I could put these away, but then I could just take each of them off when I need them. I think oh, there, there's yeah. a pair of Lululemon boxes. Let nice, me take those ready ones. to go. Yeah. Oh, I think my gym t-shirts, I got a pile of gym t-shirts, which are just like these are just quick, good to go. Yeah, 100%. Bro, I'm ironing like, those, bruv. I do not iron my gym clothes. You see when I see certain people like colour coordinating and stuff in the gym, yeah? All that effort to sweat. No, 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 but I'm I am I'm like yeah. I'm like, I wish I was like you. I ain't got time for that, bruv. Girls can do it really well. I feel like I just relegate my clothes. Yeah. So like a t shirt that I used to wear going out. Yeah. Then go to the gym. Yeah. Then staying in. <laughs> yeah, oh, 100 percent Yeah, yeah. For, yeah, for me it's like going out. Maybe get a couple of girls out going out, isn't it? Then it's mm, here and there around, yeah, here and there around the house or whatever, then it's gym. Then after gym, it's like, right, this really needs to get thrown away. <laughs> this, is, this, this is in bits now, isn't it? There's holes in this now, from here. It's, it's, yeah. But sometimes gym and staying in clothes are the same ones. 100%. They're, they're interchangeable. Lounge wear. They're, yeah, they're right? interchangeable. Yeah, yeah. Like, I can wear this t-shirt, now the arms are all out of Stretch shape. Stretch out, yeah. yeah. The next oh, looking I hate when happens to a t-shirt, especially a good t-shirt. A nice and then, one that you like, yeah. I saw something, I saw a TikTok the other day that was talking about um, quiet luxury. What's quiet luxury? So quiet luxury. And it, actually it brought up succession as a massive example, right? So it was saying that whenever you see somebody in a designer brand that it, they're wearing a t-shirt, for example, that says Gucci, Gucci, Gucci all over it or LV mm. over it. That is the entry level to any designer. Yes. That's the entry level. Yep. yep. The entry level is about 650 pounds. Anyway. Big man. <laughs> yeah, 650 pounds. Anyway, that's the entry level, right? Mm. And it was saying like quiet luxury is those designer pieces where like say for example mark zuckerberg his t-shirts are custom made mm. right and they're about 700 dollars a pop mm. or uh steve jobs's um sweaters yeah all of those things but he's like you wouldn't Sorry, know unless you took, yeah unless Polonics, you look at yeah. looked at the label and felt the quality and then you'd be like oh so none of their t-shirts are like Mm. losing shape after a wash or whatever no actually funny story of, of um steve jobs he um was trying to make a uniform for all the people at apple and they made him this like prototype polo neck i think it's a simiaki yeah and then they just gave him like hundreds and then he jokingly said oh, i've got enough of these to wear for the rest of my life and he did bare free gums bro but yeah no but quite luxury I like that. Yeah. as a as a, an example and it was like yeah you know Ke uh, kendall the son in the older son in one of them yeah Wicked he was well. wearing a hat mm-hmm and they were like, that hat is $650. It's just a plain black hat. You might even know what bit I'm talking about. He's yeah. wearing a plain black cap, $650. Mad. I was just like, ah. Let me That's just how I stay yeah. so grounded. Let me address the My trolls. one has, at yeah. most, a New York Yankee yeah. sign on it. 100%. When you, when you go up, there's always another level, yeah? And it's like, Savile Row, bruv, for suits, yeah? Come on, bruv. You step into one but of those I, I think... <sighs> I think there's even a level above that that we don't know. Of course there is. Yeah, so like Savile, of course there is. Uh, Savile Row is the kind of thing everybody always knows about. Like, oh, that's where you go when yeah. you're on expensive. Oh, you're cute. But yeah. there's probably somebody going, I've got a tailor from India that comes in and like, do you know what I mean? Or like whatever, like they've got a tailor from Italy or wherever. Oh, 100%. That just there's comes in and makes him a suit for like 13 grand a pop. There's always levels to this. But I, I, I like 
I like being reminded that there's levels to this shit. It's nice, isn't it? Um, it's nice. Uh, my quiet luxury is, is Zara. That's um, quite nice, isn't it? <laughs> or ASOS. And ASOS, oh yeah, that's nice, isn't it? Nice bit of quiet luxury, because you know what it comes you know, to you? This is ASOS. Mm. Nice. You, I don't really wear name brands. I don't like big loud brands a lot. Sometimes you, uh, I might wear reason, something a bit louder, but I realise we're both quite like understated. Yeah, but you, the only reason I... The thing is, yeah, I got to a stage where I was like, oh my God, I love these. But then like when I want to go on TV records and stuff, they're like, please, no brands, no. Yep, yep. And I'm like, I had a conversation with Tom Davis about this, right? And mm. it was like, we, we didn't work this hard like <laughs> to not wear the name brands, bruv. We, we, we worked this hard to, to be able to wear Adidas to and Nike yeah, and all yeah, of yeah. this. Anyway, but yeah, that's why I don't wear them. But I, um, but yeah, we are quite understated. And I just think sometimes, do you know what it is? Like I'll see some mad mm. logo and I'm like, that looks like shit. I'll tell you one thing I did want to buy though. Uh, <laughs> and I don't know why. Yeah. I really don't know why. It was a Saint Laurent hoodie, mm. right? And it just said Saint Laurent on it. Mm. And it was 450 pounds. I couldn't justify the purchase, <clears throat> but I really wanted it. And I don't even know why, but I really wanted it. Did you it. go? No. <laughs> Fuck you mean? <laughs> Do you know why, Marcus? That's how I stay grounded. <laughs> One hundred and fifty pound for a hoodie, bro. Oh, you out of your mind, bro. Mad. It was so fun because I was in Selfridges and I looked at it and I was like, "Oh, that looks nice." You and I felt it out. No. <laughs> Here's my thing, right? Yeah. When it is that level of expensive, I'm mm. not even trying it on because if I try it on, I'm gonna want to buy it. And then mm. if I want to buy it, I'm not eating food that week. Yeah, but you're going to look good though, bro. That's like four Deliveroo's. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit more than four. That's right. I was saying that's, that's, that's about, like some, about, that's about some, 15, 20 yeah, Deliveroo's. Yeah, right. Anyway, but I was like, I was looking at it and I was like, yeah, why do I even want this? But it's, do you know what it is? It's something about department stores. When you go in there, you just want to look like, it's when they start calling you sir. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. Oh, me. <laughs> oh, oh <wow>. me. <laughs> wow. Uh, yeah, so. Uh, and then they start to... Oh, know, my God. Do you, do you know the, what they're doing, the candles and stuff? What they're doing is they're yes manning you straight away. And immediately, you. we spoke about how long it takes you to change. That was you changing immediately. As soon as it's yes, sir. No, but, sir. Free bags full, sir. You change already. Me. I, I like, Maybe I can buy this hoodie. Let, let me tell you one thing, bro. I like a lot of fragrances, right? Oh, yeah. I love a good fragrance. Yeah, I love fragrances, yeah. Powerful. But here's the thing, right? I don't have a particular... <laughs> this is when I knew I was I was such a fucking poor cunt. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was in Selfridges one time and a woman goes, oh, so what kind of scents do you like? Like, what kind of smells do you like? I was like, big man, I like the ones girls like. <laughs> <laughs> what kind, do you like a oody smell? I was like, listen, mm. I like anything that w makes women's heads turn. <laughs> That's what I like. I want the link. You heard of the links effect? <laughs> I want the links effect. Have you got that? Uh, uh, the toilet of links. Africa. Bring that. Bring that. Bring that <laughs> what, on. What kind of... Ah, oh, bonjour, sir. So what kind of uh, smells do you like? I like Dove, you know. <laughs> Dove's all right. I like Dove. Yeah, Sporty, yeah. Sporty, the sport one. No. Yeah, man. Is that, what kind of smells do you like, uh, sir? Um... Yeah, no, like, uh, yeah. <laughs> what, what do you like? Yeah, what do you like? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you recommend? What uh, do the women yeah. like? And well, this one has notes of sandalwood and we use real amber <laughs> grease on this. Elbow grease. Yeah, bring that elbow grease one. No, <laughs> amber grease, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. elbow grease. Bring Where, that, bring that. Go, yes, yeah. there's a quite woody smell to this oh, one. Yes. As well as some lavender. Yeah, and it yeah. also has aromatic aromatic blends and you're like yeah man that sounds like a good salad on. that's a good <laughs> salad still bring that yeah. <laughs> is it yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the girls like it yeah <laughs> do girls yeah, like yeah, it yeah yeah yeah, yeah that yeah, is yeah. my only <laughs> only care when i'm wearing some fragrances i'm not wearing fragrances for man them to be like oh you smell nice I do not care, right? You smell kind of good, you know, bruv. I want fragrances that make people I am attracted to look at me, mm. turn around or go, mmm, you smell nice. But i tell you what, What Kay, smells do I like? Good ones. When you find like, that flavour though, innit? When you find that aftershave oh, that works with you, how good does it feel? I found a few. To know, yeah. I smell nice. I do, I do. I've got, bro, I've got about 15 aftershaves in my, in my, in my li little collection, right? Mm -hmm. And... There are some I just spray on in the morning Ooh. and they're expensive. Yeah. But because they're not like the top tier ones that I've worked mm. out smell good on me. 
whatever. Black I'm wearing that today. Yeah? yeah, I'm wearing that today. Nice. Whatever. Nice. Anyway. Um, I think we're about to wrap this up now. And move on to our Patreon episode. Um, yeah. Every time we drop a real episode on the free feed, we uh, stop recording and then we carry on the conversation. So if you want to join us, hit the link in the show description and crack on. And also, yeah, make sure you follow us on YouTube so you can see us as well. We also do the Patreon episodes on YouTube. And I just want to say, in summary, today's episode. Just don't say racist words in it. And let's mm. keep it moving, bruv. Mm. I think that I think that's what I should have said at the start of the episode. Just don't yeah. in it. Yeah. Just keep it moving in it. Yeah. But anyway, I'll be Marcus Bronzy, he's been K Curd, and we'll be in your eye holes and your ear holes soon. Peace.